Hey, I'm Chris from Focus Right Innovation. I'm here with the guys at DJ Kit TV, and we've got the brand new, fantastic Base Station synth from Novation. Base Station is an analog synth with a completely analog signal path, so we have analog oscillators, filters, and effects. But we also have digital control, and this does uh, this allows us to do some great things. Like, for example, we can save and store our patches. There are 128 slots for being able to store patches in there. Uh, the Base Station will come with 64 presets. We can also use the digital control to let us do things with tempo as well. For example, we can sync our LFOs to our DAW software or to the internal clock on the base station itself. So as I mentioned, it's a completely analog signal path and we have two uh, independent oscillators. We have an oscillator control section here. We have a number of different waveforms. We've got uh, um, sine wave, triangle, sawtooth and square wave. The square wave also has pulse width as well, so we can actually uh, vary the pulse width on that square wave and we can modulate it with LFO2 and we can also use one of our modulation envelopes. Alongside the two oscillators we've got the sub oscillator. This is tied into oscillator 1 and is either an octave or two octaves below and we have different waveforms that we can select for the sub oscillator as well. We have sine wave, uh, a pulse width with a fixed pulse width um, and also um, a square wave as well. Alongside these generators, we also have a noise generator which gives us a white noise signal. We have um, a ring modulation as well between oscillators 1 and 2. And we can also pass an external signal through the back on the external input on the back. And that signal will then be passed through the filters and uh, through to the filters and to the effects. And we can use that for doing some modulation effects, perhaps on any samples we might want to fire through, um, guitars or uh, vocals or anything that we want to play through the filters, basically. On the filter side of things, we have two distinct filters. We have the classic filter, which is taken from the um, original bass station. And with this, um, we have got um, an overdrive circuit which feeds into the filters. That will just boost the gain on the oscillators whilst they're going into the filter. And once again, we can modulate these with either LFO modulation or using the modulation envelope here. The classic filter is three states. We have a low pass, a band pass and a high pass as well. And we have two um, uh, slopes as well. We have uh, 24 dB per octave and 12 dB per octave. We also include the acid filter. The acid filter is a, a classic ladder filter and it's designed to give us some really nice squelchy acid house bass line sounds. Underneath the filters we've got our effects section and in the effects we have distortion which will add a whole lot of harmonic content to the sound and also oscillator filter modulation. This is effectively FM synthesis and takes oscillator 2 and controls the cutoff frequency of the filter in the audio range with this particular control. Next to that we have our envelope section and we have an amp envelope, a modulation envelope and we have, um, we have the ability to use these combined as well. So these faders will now actually control both amp and modulation at the same time. It's worth noting that all of the uh, encoders on the top of the base station also put out a CC message. And with these particular controls here, you see we've got quite an interesting approach. We have a CC message for the amp envelope, a separate CC message for the modulation envelope, and then when we switch down here, we actually send out both of those CC messages together, which makes it quite interesting and you could actually use this as a, as a, as a macro control. Next to the envelopes, we've got our LFO section. As this is a prototype model, unfortunately my LEDs aren't flashing here, but on the actual base station, we'll see which waveform we're using and also we'll get a representation of the tempo we're working at with the LFO LED flashing. With the LFOs we have a delay, a pre-delay that we can apply to the LFO and we also can control the speed. We have four waveforms including a triangle, a sawtooth, a square wave and we also have a nice sample and hold as well. Portamento section, this is for being able to glide between individual notes um, and get some nice uh, slidey sounds between notes as we're playing. And then finally on over here we've got a really uh, strong, well configured arpeggiator. The arpeggiator gives us several modes. We've got up, down, up and down, and up and down two where we repeat the first and last note. We also have the ability to actually uh, let the arpeggiator follow how we play in. And this can be great to get some nice little uh, phrases and sequences in there. Um, and we can latch those on and then start to get tasty with the, all the ex extra controls on the top panel. We also have a random uh, control as well. 
all of these arpeggiators will work across four octaves and we have an octave select button here as well. But alongside that we also have a, a step sequencer. And uh, please again ignore, ignore the uh, screen print that I have on here, uh, but basically if I switch all the way over here I'm actually in record mode and if I switch up here I'm in my play mode. I have four separate slots that I can store these sequences in and each one can be up to 32 steps long. Next to that side of things we've also got a rhythm control and if I go over to all the way over to the right hand side I'm working at 16 uh, sixteenths within a bar. If I go all the way over to the right, uh, sorry to the left I'm actually working at four uh, or quarter notes in a bar and then we have lots of different variations of rhythms in between. We have a tempo control here and this is where the clock is sent if we want to sync our LFOs. If we're having an external clock being passed through into the base station, base station will automatically latch onto that and then that will also allow you to sync directly to your door software. Alongside all the top panel control that we have and um, on all the well configured aspects of all the different oscillators and filters and effects and arpeggiators, we also have a whole load of additional functionality which is um, underneath each of the keys. So we have a function button here and we can do things on here like for example use the aftertouch on the keyboard to control the cutoff frequency on the filter. We can have uh, the aftertouch also perhaps speeding up and slowing down the, uh, the LFO, um, LFO2 which would be controlling the filter. Um, alongside that we have control for the modulation wheel as well here and we can do things like again add filter to that or oscillator pitch or vibrato in terms of LFO, uh, LFO1 which is controlling the, um, uh, the pitch of the oscillators here. We've got a number of different controls for the LFOs themselves. We have a feature called SLU which will effectively round off the edges on the, um, uh, on the LFOs. Um, so we can make our own customizable uh, waveforms um, for low frequency oscillation. We can turn off uh, the speed, or uh, we can turn well. We can turn on the LFOs into being synced by using this button here. And if I go to there, I can now see I'm synced. This will now mean that the LF, this particular LFO, will react to clock rather than to a free running LFO behind the control here. We also have a hard sync function on the synth as well, which allows us to treat um, oscillator one as the master, oscillator two as the slave, and we can get some really um, wild sounds out of that as well. Um, so yeah, so and that's, a, that's a, a good overview of the base station itself. Let's have a listen to perhaps some of the sounds that we can get out of the base station. So we're going to start off here, I'm going to go to my played option in the arpeggiator, turn the arpeggiator on and latch it on, and then I'm going to play an order of notes on the keyboard and this will get things started off for us. I'm going to actually go to my uh, step sequencer here, I'm going to put it into record mode, as I say please ignore the screen print that I've got on here, but now as I type in some notes onto the keyboard, basically this will allow me to record them in. So. Okay, I'll go move up to play, turn it on, we'll choose a different sound now, turn it on. Again, I can latch that on. And then if I go back to another step here, go to record and then... Okay, go back to play. Then if I want to, I can actually apply things like legatos, which are going to tie notes in, and I can use rests as well. Let's record onto this one and I'll go. Uh... So that sequence is stored in there now. I go back up to play. So I'm going to 
just choose a different sound that we've got stored further up here. Go up to the right sequencer and then <laughs> So we can use the legato there to just add extra length to the notes. 